All right, now this is uh, temporary. I don't know if this is where I'm going to keep it, but for now, my nice Da Vinci setup here. All right, now it says plug um, the USB cable to connect a uh, printer to PC, connect the power cord to the printer, and then turn the power switch. Turn the power switch. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. USB cord. Okay. Power cord. Power cord. Alright, everything looks good. And now we're gonna turn turn the baby on. Let's see what it is. Initializing. Please wait. Well, I was supposed to open that. Okay. It's on. Cool. I didn't know there was a light in there. Well, what do I do? That's pretty neat. Did you 2.0 dual? And now, I actually think what we're going to do is um, install the cartridges. So let's see how this is going to go. So we open this lid here. And back here there's two uh, uh, locker type deals, filament stoppers. You can just lift that out like that. Let's go that side. Get this one. Next you want to get your filament out. So I got my white right, next, right here. Open this up. Take all this stuff. All right, now you want to take this little white thing out. This little plug, basically just to stop the film from being around right there. Remove this part before using. There you go. Take this tape off right here. Now on my cartridge, I really can't get this tape off, but when you insert the filament, you're gonna to want to cut the filament just slightly at an angle. So if you can't get that um can't get that tape off like me, just go ahead and cut it. It's angled, so it's like a tip. Like that. Left is cartridge two, alright. Right is cartridge one. Then you're gonna wanna take your cartridge, slide it back in here. Yeah. All right, there's a little plastic nozzle right there, and you just want to slip it on in there. Man, this is awful. Sorry about this quality, guys. Okay, now it's going to pop out of the front here, and then you're going to slide it. Now you're going to slide. Okay, we got the filament coming out into the nozzle. Coming out here. Slide into. Yeah. There is a pinchy thingy right there. And you want to pinch it while you push the filament in. So let me do that real fast. And you'll you'll feel it hit the um just like not be able to go any further. So hit a wall. So you punch that and then push that in until it hits the wall. Reapply this locker, lock this into place. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go to utilities, change cart, cartridge one, load filament, insert filament into true one, check filament out from nozzle back to retry. Check filament out for the nozzle. I guess that just means make sure it's coming out. Okay, so we did all this stuff. Back, utilities, change cart, cartridge two, load filament. There we go. Let's make it some noise in there. You gotta admit, this is like the coolest thing ever. I'm, ex I'm excited to actually see it print a 3D object, but like, man, our world has come far. All right, so it says it's like 100, 80 degrees Celsius almost. Oh, there it is. 
And I think so I'll start squirting some filament out of there to make sure it's just working. Right, now we can see some filaments uh, coming out of there. So oozing out some test filament to make sure that's working. Now it says, check filament out from nozzle. Okay, sweet. We'll do our second filament. All right, now we got our red filament here. I'm just gonna do the same exact thing here. So get my pliers, cut me at 45 degree angle. Now when I inserted the other one, I don't think I put it far enough in there. So make sure you hit it. you go all the way down to where it hits the thing. Okay. Slide that in there. It's good. Through the tip. And into the into the thingy. And then Takes two hands, but pinch the rubber things and just push that filament all the way into the bottom there. And make sure it gets all the way. Okay. Yeah. So it probably goes in there at least like two inches. So if you don't feel like you've gone like two inches, then and you're having problems, then I need to try it. All right, change cart, cartridge one this time. Load filament. Scoots to the other side there. So now we're gonna wait for that one to heat up. Uh, I think it takes about 20 seconds for it to heat up. Heating, heating, heating. It looks like it's supposed to hit at 200 and then it starts uh, spewing out of that plastic there. Let's see. Eight, two hundred, two hundred three. Oh, it's past two hundred three. There's the nozzle. Can't really tell if it's uh, spinning. It's loading. So please wait. Alright, now it's saying check filament from nozzle. I'm not sure what that little metal thing is, but as you can see, it's clumping up a bit over there it looks like, but there is filament. Come on, focus. There's filament coming out of there. Alright, now let's try some sample print. Apply glue to print bed before printing. Glue area depends on the object you print. Utilities, build sample, select a sample. Well, you, just, you do the demo and start building. So let's see how that goes. All right, got our glue stick here. It's a woohoo stick. I don't know what sure it is. This is a uh, this is a machine from Taiwan. So who knows what it is? So now we're gonna print a sample. It says to use this glue. Just spread it on the print bed. I honestly don't know how big this um, demo print's gonna be. Plus 50 build sample demo. And it's gonna start its thing. Not sure how important the glue is, but I have heard I have heard from people that the um, the item is really hard to get off the print bed, so honestly, I don't think they have too many problems with it falling off. It is a heated print bed, pretty sure, with the glue. So I, I didn't put a heavy glue on there because um, I don't want my item to get stuck. I just wanted it to you know, print. Yeah, it does have a heated platform. So the platform's warming up, the extruders are warming up. So I'm just going to print my demo piece. Alright, so it, um, Heated everything up. 
Everything's loaded, everything looks good. Clean it off the nozzle. Clean it off that nozzle. Oh, so that one's sideways because it just goes sideways. That one's straight because so that one just goes straight. I'm learning. Said it's gonna take uh, 53 minutes, so I think it's starting. What is this? All right, here it goes. Looks like it's starting to print. I believe it's printing in the white. Yeah. let this go and uh, let it do its thing. demo print looks good. No. And there we go. This pops right off. So we now got our first piece printed on the DaVinci 2.0. I mean, I really did my research when uh, looking for a printer to buy. So I mean, if you're interested in 3D printing, this DaVinci 2.0 so far is looking stellar I mean it's cheap it's got a great print I mean it's dual color like look at that there are very few printers under like a thousand dollars to give you two colors and I mean that might be stupid to some people but like it's pretty cool thanks for watching um, now that I got my printer I'm probably gonna be throwing some stuff up on my channel for fun but uh, yeah I recommend it. Alright, see you guys later.